Cinemark is very happy to present the movie Paul, Apostle of Christ at theaters beginning on March the 23rd. Uh, Frank Gonzalez here speaking with James Faulkner, who plays Paul right. in the movie. Uh, James, Paul is can be a very daunting character because there wasn't, uh, or there isn't really a, a whole lot known about his life other than what's in the Bible. How do you uh, come to portray that kind of character? What kind of research do you do? I, I think the, the I, I, there wasn't a lot of time for me to prepare and uh, to play Paul, but the most important thing uh, is to read his letters, which gives you an insight into how he thought and what was important to him and how he spoke to people. I mean, I think Paul was uh, remarkably adept at understanding others and knowing uh, how to psychologically get through to them. His difficult message in a very difficult times when Christians were being persecuted and he was able to reach people. It didn't escape my notice, Frank, that the largest cathedral in central London, which is the town that I live in, is St. Paul's. The, you mentioned the, the time that this movie takes place, which is, you know, 30 years after, after uh, the, the crucifixion of Christ. Yes. And, and so Paul is having to deal with the persecution of the Christians, and he's also internally struggling with his past and how he has to change his life to live this life of, of love that he, that, he, that he talks about and, and writes about. Um, do you find that, you know, in your research that that was really kind of something that you could really kind of hang on to in terms of, you know, playing I both. didn't have to research that aspect of his life because it's contained within the script, a beautiful script written by Andrew Hyatt, the director. And uh, that pain uh, 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 it, it, it is clear to see. He's in solitary confinement in the Mamertine prison and is haunted by the souls of those that he persecuted before his conversion on the road to Damascus. And that's the thing that follows him through the film. And uh, without spoiling the end, <laughs> it is uh, also that which gives him redemption. One of the things in the movie that was that was that I liked was the. You've idea seen the film, right? Yes, I have. Oh, great! One of the things that I liked about it was the idea of write it down because of his relationship with Luke, who he yep. was a mentor to. Yes. Um, how did that whole idea of write it down com come about? Well, uh, it's in the script that uh, because uh, Luke uh, bribes his way into the Mamertine prison in order to bring succor to Paul, who is in solitary confinement, uh, has been flogged, uh, is uh, obviously uh, near being starved as well. They're, they weren't generous with their rations, and 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 at that moment, having broken in, he then uh, asks Paul to tell his story, that he can write it down that he can take it to the wider world. And indeed, those stories become, uh, are the basis of the, uh, of the New Testament, of the Acts of the Apostles. Love is the only way. Love that suffers long. Love that is kind, that does not envy, that is not proud. Love that does not dishonor, that does not seek for itself. Love that is not easily angered. Love that rejoices in truth. Love that never delights in evil. Love that protects trusts, hopes, endures all things. That kind of love. Give me your hand. And, and uh, Andrew had it, uh, it was one moment when he said, write it down, but I adopt, I used it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, as an ad lib from time to time. Whenever Paul said something of real meaning, of real importance, and something which we can still read today, 
uh, I would tell him to write it down, which, because it was part of my exercise as an actor, in order to keep those words which we know so well, to keep them fresh, to make it as if they were, and they were being said for the first time, but because they have been repeated, reprinted, millions and millions and millions and millions of Bibles have those words. The, the relationship between Luke and Paul, I think that's kind of part of the whole idea of write it down was you, you saw the real love and the real care that each had for each other. Yes. And, and it manifested itself as, uh, you know, a, a big brother and a little brother uh, in terms of how you all interacted with, with each other. It was, it was very, um, very comforting, very comfortable in, in how you guys re reacted with each well, other. Well, I'll come back to that word comfort in a moment. I've always known, I've always been, uh, not surprised, but I, my, it's, I've always found it very heartwarming. For instance, the love that the veterans have for each other, those that have served together, their bond is extraordinarily strong. Extraordinarily strong. And in a sense, Paul and Luke, having spent so long on the road together in very, very harsh times, chased from city to city, flogged in some instances, have that spirit between them, having served together in the forces. It's a similar relationship. Comfortability. They're, com they're completely comfortable within each other's presence. They know everything there is to know about each other. But, comfort but comfortability is a note that Andrew Hyatt gave to me about playing Paul. An adamantine spirit who is still approachable. And you have to see the love come through that man. Not, a, not an easy thing for me to do as an actor. An actor has played so many villains, so many people who would wish to control others. Mm -hmm. And here I, I'm confronted with a character uh, who does not possess that, or does not seek to uh, influence people in that way. Well, we're very excited to see it on screen. Uh, and, and all of our customers are going to be Thrilled to see Paul, Apostle of Christ, when he hits theaters on March 23rd. James, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.